Hello everyone, welcome to the Maths with Janadi YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to integrate sec cube x. There are so many theorems in integration to integrate some function. Among of them, integration by part. It's very special theory. This is the theorem of integration by part. Okay, I use this theory for integrate this one. So I give brief explanation about this theory then we can get some idea and integrate this one. Okay, so u and v are the any kind of function. It can be any kind of function. For example, uh, sine x cos x sine cube x uh, and e to the power x, x square x cube and also tan inverse x sine inverse x. Likewise, any kind of function. For example, we can integrate this kind of function okay we can integrate sine x the answer is minus cos x by c uh, uh, minus cos x plus c okay we can do it uh, this is the integration of sine x with respect to x okay sometimes we face some difficulties in integrate some function with respect to x now we have also faced that kind of difficulty then the problem is if we face many difficulties in also x, then how can we integrate this kind of function, this kind of equation? How we integrate this one? But we can do it. We can integrate this kind of functions. Okay. So don't be afraid this kind of equations. We can do it, then I'll teach you how to do it. Okay, u and v can be any kind of function. Okay, don't afraid about this one. So if we have this kind of equation, we can write it like this. First, we write u multiplied by v. U multiplied by v, u, v. Then minus. Remember it very carefully, it's minus sign, not plus, it's a minus. Minus then we exchange this function we exchange this okay exchange this one then it v du v du it's called v integrate with respect to u okay v du so we can remember this equation u dv equal to uv minus v du likewise okay okay then we can write this sec cube x like this sec x sec cube x sec x multiplied by sec square x uh, we know to derivate tan x the answer is sec square x okay i think you have learned it earlier and also in integration it has an equation like this sec square x integrate with respect x okay the answer is tan x plus c tan x plus c we know there is a relationship in between differentiation and integration okay this is the good example for the for the uh, relationship between these two so now i use this theory for another way okay look at this now i multiply dx from both sides okay multiply dx from both sides then it becomes d tan x x square x dx okay i think now you got it i multiply by dx from both sides okay so sec square x dx equal to d tan x okay uh, we can write it like this uh, i think it's better d tan x okay now i use this 
equation for this one. We can substitute sec square x dx by d tan x. Okay, d tan x. Now we can write it like this. Okay, so now the question become like this equation, like this theorem. Okay, this is looks like v, sorry, u, and this is v. It become like u d v. So now we can use this theory for this one. Okay, uh, first u multiplied by v. So sec x tan x minus then we should exchange this function tan x d sec x. Okay, now we should integrate tan x with respect to sec x. But we can't do it. We can cannot integrate tan x by sec x. Okay, we cannot do it. So what should we do now? We can do it uh, this kind of thing. Okay, look at this very carefully. I do very special things for this question. I divided by dx and also multiple by dx. In mathematics, normally we do this kind of thing. It's not unfair. This is very fair thing. Okay, by putting these two, the meaning of this question become changed. Now, the meaning of this one is it should derivate, we should derivate sec x by x. Okay, now this is the meaning of this one is it should derivate, derivate sec x. Okay, we know we know how to derivate it. We know how to derivate sec x. The answer is sec x tan x. Okay sec x tan x. So we should write it sec x tan x minus after derivating uh, sec x tan x. So it has a tan x. So we should write it tan square x sec x dx like this. So now we want uh, more space to write other steps. Uh, for that, I erase first two and three steps. Before I erase these three steps, I do a very special thing. That is, I put I, I sign to this one. So I equal to sec cube x. Okay. I equal to sec cube x. Okay, we can write it like this. I equal to integrate sec cube x. Okay, then I erase those steps. Now we know there is the equation in trigonometry uh, tan square x equal to sec square x minus 1. Okay, we know this equation. Uh, we can substitute this one to this okay then we can write it take x tan x uh, i write like this i equal to take x tan x minus we can write it take x y x minus one then sec x dx like this okay then i equal to x tan x minus then we can write it sec cube x dx this minus sign and this minus sign become plus sec x dx okay we know how to integrate this one okay this is the theory how to integrate sec x the answer is ln sec x plus tan x. Okay, we know this equation. If you didn't know it, you should write it. Integration of sec x 
is ln sec x plus tan x. By using this equation, we can easily integrate this one. There's no problem. But the problem is this one. We start this equation to integrate sec cube x. So what should we do now? We know i is equal to integrate sec cube x. There is also a i. Okay. We start to, we start this equation to integrate this one. Okay. Then I can use it, use this i to this one. Okay, this is also a i you know. Then we move it to the left hand side. We can move it to left hand side. Then it becomes 2i. 2i. Then there is no integration. All the parts are integrated. Tan x plus ln sec x plus tan x plus c. All the parts are integrated. Then we can divide it by 2. We can write like this sec x tan x plus ln sec x plus tan x plus c. Like this. Okay, this is the answer of sec cube x. This is the answer. Okay, hope you guys get some knowledge from this video and see you again on my next video. Until then, have a nice day.